Welcome to another week of Ether Aids. We are taking on our first opponent here in El Lam. All right, well, I give up on that one. <laughs> We're going to start the match here. And uh, this is actually a pretty decent team here. Uh, he has um, a Brave Marianne here that I'm actually trying to... I'm trying to get mine to work because she is neat. It's just that sometimes she doesn't do enough damage. Um, and sometimes she'll hit for zero, which is unfortunate. Uh, you really don't want that out of a... A range unit um, so yeah I'm trying to figure out how to get that to work uh, that's my biggest eyes. problem with her the damage output but aside from that uh, you got the claw there uh, I guess I compensates for that problem oh, and it. no frayer so we're just gonna stop uh, the triangle attack because you know why <laughs> why should I allow it and we're gonna let Marth do his thing um, pretty much we're gonna go ahead and ban could sweep this um, problem here being my setup here what's your plan because Altina is bonus what? there's too many ready units here not a lot of variety I don't like how the team is looking and the buffs aren't even like the buffs are kind of hard to spread out so it's very challenging to oh, sustain uh, the 60 buffs that he needs to be able to vant it. So I don't think I'm going to keep this team around in terms of like the current setup. Marth will still be there, of course, of course. but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out for the remaining Close units. It's eyes. not how I would like it to be. Maybe I could drop one of the mythics because I guess I could function on two mythics only since he's not really taking that many hits. But... Yeah, I don't like the team as it is. Um, and I don't know who to drop because I can't really put the new Plumeria in because she has too much attack. Uh, so she'll steal the bonus doubler effect. So yeah, it's, it's um, not good. I figured I'd bring a Leer here just for... I need a, <laughs> I need a Dragon unit to activate it, Dragon or Beast. So I figure a Leer, but meh. I don't know, man. This this might not be it. This is going to get some changes on it. Um, in any case, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into this one Let's and see now. figure out how to get the pots and stuff. Um, my biggest concern is the low, but Steady now. Mars should still hit go. through Brave Marianne in, in any case. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to outspeed her, which is kind of my concern. But aside from that, we should be good to go. Marablis doesn't have a refine, so we don't have to worry about that too much. And uh, yeah, I think it's all good. Why not? It is yet another Astra season, and I still only have three teams. I I keep saying that I'm gonna add two extra teams, but it just doesn't happen because the thing that I'm trying to work on, it, it just it makes me like so. Demoralize is that the word? Probably. Because every time I try to put it together, I beat it like so easily. And sometimes I gauge my offensive units or my offensive teams off what I'm able to beat. But then sometimes that's probably oh, not the best way to go about it. it because hmm. you know, you already know what you're thinking. It's probably better to gauge it off what's out there. And from what I can see, a lot of Astra yes. Season is a lot of um no C disrupt, you 100% need that. Like, everybody's moved all of their sweep units, like uh, Ascended Joshua, Fallen Maria, uh, stuff like that, um, alongside, you know, this Claude, over to Astra Season. So if you don't have no Claude and Disrupt in Astra Season, uh, from what I can see on my friends list, everybody pretty much has Fallen Maria or one of the Cav units, um, Cav Healers or Ascended Joshua, somebody that sweeps. Being that it's fire season, there's Anoka as well, so if you don't have no counter dis disrupt on this season, you're kind of setting up yourself for failure, uh, which means I gotta build a team around that. I believe in you. Even though I don't really want to do that, because if you build for no counter disrupt specifically, they're gonna have one other nuke uh, alongside that, and it's typically someone that pierces DR, so it's a very difficult balance to strike. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I will go. Um. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm gonna Let do. Let me aid you. Why not? Mm. I think the setup is good though to avoid uh, anyone from warping in. But of course. Yeah, that aside, I only have three teams again. Um, <laughs> it's 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 tough. I mean, Mars is really good. He'll pretty much sweep anything. But I do still need someone aside from Storm that can handle sweep effects. A single strike. I was thinking of using the. Um, oh wow! All right. For the hope of all. Totally nullifies my speed there. Wow. That's crazy. For the hope of all. So yeah, I was thinking of using the new uh, Anna from Engage, but yeah, she dies like real easy. <laughs> she really, really dies real easy. Yeah, I think you need to put some investment on her. Um, and even in that case, she still dies real easy. So I don't know what to do about that either. Mm. Oh man. Team building is hard. <laughs> Team building is really hard. I think she'd be good if you had mergers on her, but because she's a flyer, there's a lot of archers. Brave Crown, uh, uh, Valentine's Crown is everywhere. And then also the blue one. Well, it's not water season, but people are still running him. So, and Hanoka, who will sweep. Yes. So, I don't know. It's, it's just a lot. Mm. <sighs> I'm kind of hoping everyone doesn't attack here because there is a potential sweep. You have my trust. Um, but I think we should have at least four mortis in the back. My turn. At least the two armor should be left, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. You know, I don't think anyone's really noticed, but Mirabilis actually neutralizes bonus doubler in Astra Anima. She's like her weapon refine. Uh, no, her dance refine uh, passes out Omni, an Omni low uh, to everyone within two spaces of who got dance. So basically, strike. if you're running bonus doubler in this season, um, she will dance and basically just eliminate that. And with Freya around, the dance is pretty much always going to go off. So just want to shout that out just in case you didn't notice. But yeah, I be aware go. that if you see Mirabilis uh, and she has her weapon, her dance refine, Let's you're probably see. not going to be able to use your bonus doubler and you're going to enter the combat. You're going to be like, Speak. where are all my stats? Well, um, yeah, Mirabilis happened. Um, Steady now. So yeah, it's sneaky because it's not, if you don't, With well, certainty. probably not sneaky because most things are just hidden in text these days and because you, people are I just tired of reading everything. Um, you probably won't know that it, the, the dance does that, but yeah, Parabolus is really, really good. Very, very, very good. Um, I think I have her higher than Trianja, but I guess then Trianja doesn't have her refine and remix yet, so I guess we're still gonna wait and see what that's gonna turn out to be. But for now, I think uh, she's definitely the best one. Um, aside from Peony, but you have my I guess there's only two on defense, so. Mm, hard to is not really a lot of comparisons to be made um so let's see here let's set up for this pot and then we should be good to go for next What's turn we should be able to get out of here i think i might swap out triandra for dark defense with the why did you move there <laughs> i was literally gonna go get the pot from right there and he just Wow, that's uh, thank you, Corin. Thank you, real cute. Yeah. <laughs> so I was saying, I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, swap out Triandra from Dark Season and use the new whatever unit Triandra that just came out because she has a sword instead of a ranged yes. weapon. Um, and also, uh, even if she doesn't dance, she's gonna be offering some type of support. That five flat damage. Uh, can come in pretty handy. So I'm going to try to swap that out just to see 
how well that will play into uh, Dark Season, since a lot of the times I'm getting isolated by Mila anyway. So I think I'll appreciate the flat 5 damage as well as the stat swings from her weapon. Um, even more than just Triandra just being there, regular Triandra, Dark Triandra. Um, I probably won't get the 4 speed and the 5 HP, but well, I'll still get the 5 HP because I'll use a different mythic. The question is, what mythic would that be? Probably Yoon, since... Hmm, I'll, I'll figure it out, but hmm. we're done here. Um, Martha's gonna take us home. For the hope of all. All right, GG's. Gonna play one more match. See you in the next one. All right, welcome to the second match of the day. Uh, we are facing a Japanese player here, and uh, we're gonna use this team that I just threw together. Um, we got the Ursula here, one of my favorite units that I just never get to use, as well as um, just some ranged units that will do pretty good at hit and running. But I don't know if this is like the final team that I'm gonna be working with. Um, there's still some pieces here that don't work well together, uh, primarily Ursula. Uh, with her biggest problem being not being able to kill. <laughs> um, yeah, she has a desperation effect, but uh, because she is um, Cav, um, there's never going to be enough damage that she can put out to take out a unit. So it's it's really tough to work with. Uh, maybe she'd be a good user of Flared Spyro, but ultimately it boils down to the fact that she's just not able to kill anything. Um, so it's like, eh. Yeah, yeah, I just might drop her. Um, she puts out a lot of damage if you set up the team right, because it is um, dominance, and dominance does hit hard. Uh, it's just that you really need some some DR piercing these days with how bulky units are, and I probably have to bring Alir um, to get that from her. Uh, her weapon is short on tempo and. DR piercing. If she had tempo, then she'd probably be a lot, lot better. Um, but yeah. Uh, Yuri's here. Yuri's really good. Uh, we're going to take out the Veronica and then back out and then um, have Altina take on whatever she can and then figure it out from there. Uh, Altina is bonus, so she has a lot of stats. <laughs> um, but I don't know how she'll match up into that Geralt. That is a bit of a concern there, so I'll probably have to um, avoid him as best as possible um, but for now we should be good to go with just uh, hitting and running to start off with on the legendary Veronica because we are gonna be able we are gonna need the space uh, to back up into let's get going I don't back down I'll handle this I gotta say, man, ever I since I've stop. given Yuri special uh, Spiral 4, I've been trying to find ways to put him on teams, Give man. He is uh, very, very good with this skill. Uh, you can really just set him up in a lot of different uh, team setups, team compositions, and just send him out there to do damage. I've even been considering giving him uh, uh, Disarm Trap, but um, majority of the time with traps, I usually just smite sure. onto them, so probably don't need that. And the special spiral just has way, way more value, I feel. Um, so yeah, I, I really, insane. really love uh, this legendary Yuri now. I, I really hated the unit just because of you know that hit and run style that he encouraged. But what is it you this want? this special spiral With build really just um, it's good. It's good. I'll, I'll I'll leave it at that. It's really, really good. Uh, probably the only thing that would improve him is lethality, but without the time spells, it's kind of hard to proc, um, ramp into that. So we'll just leave it at this for now. Um, what we're going to do here is you some form of reposition. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet, but we're going to re we're going to be repositioning uh, just to get stuff out of the way and then um, set up for turn two. Consider it done. So since I don't need both Plumeria and um, With certainty. Altina on the same team, 
one of them is going to get dropped. It's probably going to be Altina. Um, reason being, uh, I think I said it in the video section earlier that a lot of teams are running some type of sweep effect and um, it's just no fun for Altina because she can't run a uh, null C disrupt. So unless you're going to take out the unit that's sweeping, uh, it's, it's just a bad time for her. She needs to be able to attack. Um, no, leave him at the front. Ah, that reposition is annoying. How do I get out of this now? Because Give me an order. I really actually wanted to take out Gerald and then, you know, have fun from there. But this is actually Which way? not a good position to be in now because I'm pretty sure that trap is real. So, and then Gerald, hmm, what do I do here? My units aren't really in position to snipe. Hmm. And then there's mirror right there, so when yes. I step on the trap, uh, she'll be able to dance. You have my trust. Oh man, not good. So I either have to take out Geralt or Mirabilis. Consider hmm. it done. Ideally, both would be nice. Yeah, this is pretty tricky. Without a doubt. I do have the Wings of Mercy plays. And I do have some oh, repositions. But this Thorelt has got to With go. Utter certainty. And I'm getting debuffed. And if Mirabilis attacks, uh, she'll gonna she's gonna lay down flash, which is bad. I gotta be careful because of Hanoka as well. I think ultimately it's probably the best to step on that trap and then do some type of Wings of Mercy play. I think that's probably the best idea since my calves are pretty much out of range. I could probably get one of them to attack, but then whoever attacks is going to be stuck. With utter certainty. So I think this is the best. Stepping on the trap is the best idea. Okay. Now, what's next? Orders, quickly. So this opens up a lot of options, but... Got it. Which idea is the best idea? Yes. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> so many possibilities, but we gotta be really careful about how we play this because um, Plumeria doesn't have cancel. Orders, quickly! Hmm. I will not stop. Plumeria does not have cancel. So if if I attack Opal Mary, she's gonna get stuck. And then there's also the possibility of sweeping, which I want to avoid. Oh man, I've really played myself into a corner here. <laughs> Hmm. How do I get out of this? I feel like Plumeria has to, I feel like Mirabilis has to go. Alright, let me try this. This way, at least Sir should be alive. And then I will not stop. everyone should be out of what range. You want? Yeah, this should work. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, the clutch play. Okay, sometimes not attacking is the right play. You gotta know when to retreat okay. as well as attack. Um, and I think this is one of those times that retreating is the best option because Seros yes. will not be able to reach. Uh, everyone else should attack and die because I have Vantage up and uh, we should be good to go from here. This is, this is genius. Down. Ooh, I was worried about that one. Nice. Oh wow, Maria, so bulky. No backing down. And Cirrus is left, and we can get the pots. Wonderful. This is perfect. Ooh, I was sweating there. <laughs> uh, let's break this uh, tactics room because it's been annoying. Stop. And then uh, try to figure out how to get the pots here. Um, Wings of Mercy um, Wings of Mercy plays here, coming in really clutch, along with Hinoka being able to warp. You have my trust. Um, but aside from that, I think I'm definitely going to take out Pressing Ursula because there's, she's not offering anything Don't to this blink. team. Uh, she did, you know, do a reposition play there and, you know, canto it away, but I can find other units that can do that. It doesn't have to be here. Uh, let's get to this other pot now. So... And then... Consider it done. I don't back down. Not, not close enough. Without a doubt. Might need another reposition here. Uh, Orders, quickly. Or I could just dance and let Hanoka get it? Or this. This is probably better. You have my trust. And let's take out yes. Saros with Ursula since she did nothing. <laughs> what is it you want? Seventeen. Hmm. <sighs> All right. GGs. Pretty tame day uh, for day one. I, I kind of played myself in the trouble there, but. Um, we'll see how the rest of the week holds up. Gonna make some different teams. Welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We're taking on Shinzawa, Sinzawa, I think. Um, and we're gonna use um, just this team that I just like literally put together. I don't think I was even done yet. I was just like, uh, let's just jump into a match. <laughs> I couldn't bother. Um, so we got this um, Klein here that I was really working on in terms of like getting him fully built up. And I think I finally finished it. The only thing that I needed was the dragon flowers, and I got the dragon flowers from uh, the otherworldly bond. So I'm trying to figure out how best to use him. He's very good, um, just maybe not the best for like uh, breaking through things, but like for squishy, squishy targets, he does pretty good at taking them out. I think the thing that he's missing is probably a better B skill because I didn't have. Um, very much to give the him for that. I don't know sight. what would be the best beast skill either. Maybe like some sort of no follow-up. Maybe I don't know, but uh, that if if there's anything lacking, that would be where it is. Um, I don't think he Orders, picks out. For, ooh, eh. Um, okay. And you can see I, I haven't even finished setting up this team because Noka doesn't even have like any um, passive slot or S slot. Um, so yeah, this is, I, I'm just like, I'll do it. I'm not even like really playing. <laughs> I'm not even really playing right here. Um, let's see if we can um, get some stats off of, um, or see what this client can do in terms of just like some damage output. Uh, of hmm. That's okay. I think what's happening there is probably not getting, um, sure. probably not getting to the dead eye. Pressing ever forward. Hmm. Give me an order. Oh wow, no one can take out this for Mortis. That's crazy. And yeah, I didn't even show you guys the team because there really isn't anything here, just like Aussies and Mythics. Um, I don't back this down. person probably doesn't play Ether Raids a lot. Um, so he's just putting a bunch of okay. a bunch of his best units out here just to um, I don't know. Have a defense Close team, I guess. Eyes. But uh, looks like Noka is the only one here that can do this. Um, sure. I don't even know, man. I, I, I'm just waffling right now. 
I'm trying to figure out how best to go about this. There is Kanto control, uh, so she'll be stuck on that trap if it's real. Uh, not sure what to do there. Let's just uh, slowly make our way up and break some stuff over this side. I guess that's probably the best way. Um, the toe here is actually strangely bulky for some reason. Like, weird, weirdly bulky. I don't know. I don't get it, but... Back down. Yeah, this is where we are. <laughs> Why not? Uh, unfortunately, I can't stay in that spot because it's uh, within range of Asker, so it kind of ruins my whole plan that I had there. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure this out as we go along, I guess. Um, yeah. Orders, quickly. So yeah, you know what I just watched, or rather, you know what I found out. Um, Fire Emblem aside, I was watching Monster, the Anna, the uh, the old anime, and I was like, well, I picked it back up uh, unwittingly, um, not even realizing that I had already watched it like years down. ago. Like sure. I saw like it kept it kept showing up on my YouTube feed, and I was like, this looks like a really good anime. I should probably watch this. And then I started watching it. I was like, what? What? Didn't I already watch this? I <laughs> like. Halfway through the first episode, I was like, nah, I can't. I've already, I'm 100% sure that I already watched this. And I just watched some summarizations instead, like a recap. The future is and I was insane. like, oh, okay, okay. I remember now. And it kind of sucked because, well, not the anime. The anime was okay. But I was like, why is everyone hyping up this anime? And it's not bad. It's like a good psychological thriller. I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's a good like, psychological <sighs> Okay, maybe, maybe. It's good. It's a good psychological thriller. But I was like, why is everyone hyping up this anime? And then, like, Pressing only for, like, forward. a couple of years later, I've completely forgotten that I've watched it in comparison to you things like Berserk. Trust. Berserk, you can't forget that you watched Berserk. Um, and even things like uh, Steins Gate that came out around the same time. And I guess um, Black Lagoon wouldn't be fair because I've... I have recency bias with that. I've recently just watched Black Lagoon. Um, but even from like that time that I was watching anime, I was watching like Sword Art Online and uh, what else? Sword Art, Sword Art Online and um, Don Machi and a couple of other animes like that. And I remember all of them, but I completely forgot about Monster, which is that, that just goes to show you how much how good the anime actually is. It's not like the greatest but it's not like at the same time like bad it's it's okay it's a half de it's a decent anime I don't uh I, i'd recommend to wa for you to watch it if you like like that who's done it style of thing whereas you already know who's done it but at the same time there's a lot there's a lot going on there Close your they could eyes. probably make it into a movie it has a, a really nice 1950s movie feel um like uh someone compared it to man, i can't remember the clown there is a you know like those who done it where, where like a nancy drew book it has like that that vibe to it nancy drew is a terrible comparison but it's kind of like that because nancy's so wholesome <laughs> but um but yeah i was i was disappointed i had to find something else to watch um i'm kind of like I'm kind of like running out of things to watch, weirdly enough, so I've been checking out a lot of Gigook's um, recommendations in terms of for anime. Uh, no backing down. Yeah, not a lot of good ones out there, or not a lot of ones that I haven't already been watching. Uh, I haven't started Jujutsu Kaisen yet because I'm just going to wait on it to be animated and then I'll pick it up because it looks... I was watching it, I was like, yo, this is exactly like um, My Hero Academia but with demons. Or, also, I got a lot of Demon Slayer vibes from it, except different era fighting, yeah. And I was like, eh, why am I watching this show that's, like, kind of a ripoff of My Hero Academia when I could just watch My Hero Academia? And I've kind of even stopped watching the anime for My Hero Academia because... Oh, I'll do it. It's in a weird place right now. I feel like I'm getting heavily spoiled by the manga. I'm not reading the manga, but spoilers are literally everywhere. You can't avoid the spoilers. So I already know what's going to happen. Sure. So I'm just waiting you on them to build trust. up to, 
you know, get into the same point in the manga so I can just watch everything. Because I already know what's going to happen, so there's no point in me even reading about it. <laughs> spoilers are, like, unavoidable, man. Spoilers. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, weird. Weird tangent. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> um, I'm almost at the end of this match, I hope. Like, literally nothing is going on. Klein was a bust. He wasn't okay. able to do anything. Not his fault. It's really just... Um, there are no weak kids here. All of these units are pretty bulky. Um, and he just hasn't been able to, you know, get through anything. Maybe I should swap out the A-Skill for some type of damage reduction A-Skill because he dies, like, pretty easily. So, there's that. Or maybe I'll just scrap this whole team altogether. I mean, I, it's it's useless in Aether Raids once you start getting higher up. So, I, lately that's what I've been doing. I've been making, like, a... a unconventional team for like the earlier matches just to have fun and then when I start getting later on in the week I start putting out tougher teams or stronger teams just to have something to fall back on I've tried I've been trying to make a team with oh no I didn't want her to attack but no C disrupts um yeah that was a oopsie by me because this means I'm not gonna get that last pot I didn't realize I was in range I thought she would have like danced or something <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention, man. No it's it's whatever. Down. It's just one pot. I can I can get it back. Uh, I just don't have to. I just have to avoid missing any more pots. But yeah, real nothing burger of a match. Um, forgettable. See you in the next one.